Hello, and welcome to the ICER Surfacer Senior Design Presentation. I'm Jacob Anderson. I'm Sean Coster. And I'm Kyle Arshambo. Our team was responsible for designing and building a small ice resurfacing machine to be used on ponds and rinks. A professor here at Tech, Guy Hembroff, owns a small rink that he uses for pond hockey and skating in the winter, and other personal rinks exist in the Houghton area. Resurfacing those rinks is a difficult but necessary task. Some people use homemade devices with hot water tanks and others simply use a hose. A designated ice resurfacer for small rinks is often too expensive for most rink owners to purchase. Our advisor, John Irwin, thought that this presented a good problem for a senior design project. We spent the first semester going through the design process, gathering information about the product, setting parameters, and ultimately coming up with a design. The largest limiting factor towards designing the resurfacer is cost. Our budget was around $1,000, including a $500 steel donation from Arcelor Middle. The resurfacer had to have the ability to be pulled behind the customer's lawn tractor. It also had to be able to resist corrosion and be fully functional during the harsh Houghton winters. Here you will see our final design of our product. It is designed with the ability to change the height of the device. Our final product will come with two different types of materials to aid in smoothing the ice. One being a rubber mat, the second being a microfiber towel. We were actually not able to test which would actually be the better material for smoothing the ice. So we're going to provide the customer with both and they'll be able to change it out pretty easily. And then the device will also be able to be towed behind long tractors as that was a main design constraint due to our, 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 our customer. However, it should also be able to be pulled by, a, by hand manually instead. However, that may be slightly difficult as the estimated weight of the product is about 340 pounds and that's including the propane. Here is the, oh, the body of our device. The body consists of an inner shell that allows fiberglass insulation to be placed between the burner and the outer surface of the machine. It prevents the outer surface ab above the burner from be becoming too hot and dangerous to human contact. And the inner shell creates a burning chamber where heat is trapped, helping melt the ice more efficiently. Holes in the air allow air to reach the burner for better combustion. The body is, is made out of 304 stainless steel to prevent corrosion. Most ice resurfacers utilize a metal blade to scrape the top layer of the ice and a water tank to spread hot water over the surface of the ice. While this is the ideal way to resurface a rink, this can be a difficult design to build and manufacture. After doing some online research, we found that it was possible to smooth out a rink simply by heating up the ice on top to melt and allowing it to cool again. Our team decided to utilize a propane pipe burner similar to those found on grills. This greatly simplifies the design and helps reduce the weight of the resurfacer as no water tank is needed. Since no water is being added to replace the ice on top, no scraping blade is necessary either. The burner makes use of the Venturi effect. Fuel is forced through a small orifice inside the mixing chamber shown on the right. The faster flow into the larger chamber helps create a pressure differential which sucks air in through the grate to create the air fuel mixture necessary for combustion. The metal grate can be rotated to lean or enrich the mixture and create the optimal burning flame. The hitch provides a stable connection between the ice resurfacer and tractor. It is manufactured with one and a quarter steel tubing and has a hole size that adapts to most tractors. Here you'll see the design of our wheels. All four of the wheels have the ability to be adjusted equally. Adjustability of the wheels allows for the user to find optimal operating heights. A locking T-pin or similar locking pins will be used to keep the wheel in place. Rear wheels are solid caster while the front wheels are rotating casters. This allows for better movement and easier storage when not in use. The total material cost of our ice resurfacer comes to $843 and with labor costs, overhead, and hopes to profit on the machine, we market it at the shown selling price. This is a competitive price compared to the Alaska Ice Dragon and the smaller scale Zamboni. Unfortunately, due to the coronavirus outbreak, we were unable to complete the manufacturing phase of the project. Instead, we will focus on creating a set of detailed instructions so that the machine shop staff can complete the project over the summer. This will include instructions as well as drawings and blown apart assembly views to ensure that the correct pieces go together in the correct order. As we close our presentation today, we'd like to take the time to thank Dr. John Irwin for his guidance as our advisor, our sponsor ArcelorMittal for their steel donation, the MET staff for their technical assistance, and Pammy Wasileski for ordering assistance.